Hi, we're back in the kitchen. I realize now it's been a very long time. Well, they say he's not coming back and nothing can fill the void, but at least we can try with food. I'll make some apple pie, come on in. It's Dead Dad's Kitchen. Today on Dead Dad's Kitchen, we are going to do something fun and new and exciting and fresh and cute, and I'm elated. I love waffles. In the lifelong debate of waffles v pancake, just one. <laughs> In the long, in the lifelong? Is it lifelong? In the centuries long debate of waffle v pancake, I tend to lean pancake. That's not to say that I don't, when it comes down to it, maybe prefer a waffle. I think what's interesting, you know how like they say even bad pizza is still pizza, so like yum? I believe that you are more likely to get a good pancake at most pla- okay, here's what I'm saying. I think that a good- that a good pancake is easier to come across than a good waffle. So if you're looking to order something that you're pretty sure will be good, go pancake. But if you get a good waffle, mm, that's so much better than a good pancake. What I'm saying is you can't go wrong with a breakfast carb. However, if you can make it perfect, why not? So here's what we're gonna do today. I want to verse my go-to waffle recipe versus a Belgian waffle recipe. So this is gonna kind of be like a American versus Belgian waffle showdown. I love showdowns. <laughs> I've never been to Belgium. I don't know if it's sort of like what we think Chinese food in America is versus like what actual Chinese food, like very different vibes. So I'm just gonna be calling this a Belgian waffle because the recipe I looked at is like, these are in Belgium. So I'm gonna trust a bountiful kitchen. I think that's who it is. A bountiful kitchen. I've made a Belgian waffle recipe before, and when I say a Belgian waffle, it's not just like, oh, this is a waffle, and this is a strawberry waffle, or this is a chocolate waffle, or something like that. It's a totally different thing. It's a yeasted dough, there's pearl sugar in it, which is so fun and exciting. So we're just gonna see what's better. I'm gonna give you our shopping list right here, but it's just gonna be for both recipes. There's a couple delineations between the two, so um, you'll see what I use where, whatever. So you're going to need a waffle maker. Again, this is not like a classic Belgian cast iron waffle maker. It's just like a waffle maker I got when I really wanted waffles one day. You're gonna need some eggs. We're gonna need some unsalted butter as always. Get yourself some kosher salt, some vanilla. You're gonna need some canola, vegetable oil, whatever. Just don't use any very flavorful oil like olive oil or anything like that. You wanna keep it pretty neutral and light. We're gonna need some all-purpose flour. We will need buttermilk, or you can use regular milk if that's what you've got. And you will need some granulated sugar. Oh. How long does it take you to open a bag of sugar? Okay, so I also ripped it, which is sick, actually. I'm moving slowly because I got my first dose of the vaccine. Thanks, Moderna and Dolly Parton. If it's good enough for Dolly Parton, <laughs> it's good enough for me. We're going to start our Belgian waffles. They're called Liege waffles or Liege waffles. How do you say it? Liege? It could be any of the three. We're gonna start our Liege, Liege, Liege waffles. <laughs> Right now, I'm getting this recipe from A Bountiful Kitchen. Their stuff is always really, really good. I really like everything that they put out, so thanks for the recipe. Also, this buttermilk says it's Best Buy today, and I asked them, I, like I just bought it, and I was like, oh, do you have any that are not expiring today? And I know it's not actually expired, it'll last much longer than like the Best Buy date. I was like, do you have any that are like newer? And they were like, no. And I was like, oh, okay, well, thank you very much. We need three quarters of a cup of that, and we're going to warm her up. What's that doing in there? Get out of there. Then we need two teaspoons of yeast, which is usually what's in there anyway. I just tried to grab my tablespoon measure and I guess, I guess this is it now. No handle, who needs it? Oh, gross. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> I've never microwaved buttermilk and I feel like that was a bad idea. Can we just sort of bring her back together? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Perfect. I love learning together. Looks bad. 
Okay, we're gonna add some sugar. How much sugar do you think we need? I'm pretty sure we need two tablespoons. That's just me though. That's just me. You guys, I am actually very excited about this recipe. I can't believe I'm gonna fucking use this. Because the other one's in the dishwasher, which by the way, if you can hear, I'm sorry, but we have dishes to do, so shut up. I mean, I guess. I guess it did not not work, so. Okay, and we need two teaspoons of yeast, uh, four, <laughs> I can't handle this. Four teaspoons go into a tablespoon, so we're just gonna fill this up halfway, more or less. Sure. Okay, so our yeast is in our buttermilk mixture. We're gonna see if that actually works. You know what's funny is I'm not gonna throw this out. Like I was just about to, cause I was like, obviously throw this out. It's garbage. It doesn't work anymore. It's not, it's no longer a spoon. It's a very small bowl, uh, but I'm not going to. Okay, then we're gonna need two large eggs and 12 tablespoons of melted butter. So that's a stick and a half. There's eight sticks of butter. There's eight tablespoons in every stick of butter. Let's melt that bad boy. Just a reminder, be nice to people today. If you're talking to somebody on the phone who works at a place and they're trying to help you, don't call them a <laughs> Especially don't do it 30 times. Cause I'll tell you what, they're just trying to help. <laughs> Chances are they know what they're talking about. <laughs> anyway, let's make some waffles. Oh my God, I used to work at a place, I'm sure I've talked about it before, but my first like real big girl waitressing job, like where I wasn't just like running food or whatever. Not that that's not important, obviously. My first actual waiting tables job was at a place called More Than Waffles. Guess the annoying joke that everybody used to say. So like, you know, when you work retail and like a tag doesn't come up and somebody's like, you scan it and it doesn't come up and somebody's like, is it free? Everybody has like their stupid things that people, like when I worked at Milk Bar, everyone's like, oh, you don't just have milk? Like, you know, and then you have to be like, Haha, no. At More Than Waffles, everyone would be like, oh, uh, do you have anything besides waffles? And I was like, first of all, the joke is wrong for a couple of reasons. It's called More Than Waffles. So like, that's already your fault. Secondly, shut up. <laughs> and I hate you. <laughs> I am so curious if this is gonna rise or not. Um, what are we doing? Melting butter, duh. Shut up. <laughs> Since there's milk fat and water in there, there's a lot of like little, little explosions and that can get your microwave really messy. So you can just cover it with a paper towel if you want. I obviously forgot to, but I got it just in time. <laughs> what I'm saying is I'm great. Um, okay, we're getting three and a half cups of flour. Oh, I'm gonna keep this out. I need some salty salt. Probably, I'm gonna guess a teaspoon because it's usually a teaspoon. I'm always like, baking is so scientific. <laughs> what do we need? What do we need? Move it away, move it away, move it away now. Move it away, move it away. <gasps> I'm an idiot. Oh my God, I'm stupid. You're also gonna need this. This is like the whole freaking point of the liege waffle. This is called pearl sugar and it's so cool. Look at it. Oh, don't do that. That is what makes a liege waffle so special. It gives it this like really beautiful crystallized, caramelized little pocket. So here is what our yeasty buttermilk looks like. So we're now going to whisk in our melted butter and our eggies. Probably, oh no! <laughs> Jeez, I'm having some egg difficulties today, huh? Is there a whole piece of shell in there too? God, I'm losing it. Bud. So I'm giving this one final whisk and then I am adding my salty flour mixture in there and I throw in a splash of vanilla. I also saved about a half a cup of flour to add at the end just to make sure it's all nicely incorporated. Okay, so we are just letting this come together for about another minute or two and then we're going to let it sit and rise for 30 minutes. We do not add our pearl sugar yet. That's something we do when we fold it in when this is already proofed. So I'll see you in a second. Here we go. We are going to get the American uh, batter ready. So to do that, we are going to use two and a quarter cups of flour. Again, always we are spoon and leveling to make sure our flour is nice and light and fluffy and cute and perfect. Do you guys prefer pancakes or waffles? What's up? What's going on? Give me your best pancake or waffle story also. Um, one of my favorites, I'm sure you could guess. I'm stupid fatal for my boyfriend. <laughs> So one of my favorite pancake memories is our first date we got 
pancakes together at like one in the morning at this place in Los Angeles called Dupar's. They're open, well, they were open 24 hours a day before COVID. And Michael and I sat and ate pancakes until like four in the morning. And it was uh, obviously magical. So that's my favorite pancake memory. <laughs> What's yours? We're gonna get a tablespoon of baking powder. We're gonna use our, our tablespoon measure. See, I told you I would need it. Let's, <laughs> let's see. Here we go. <laughs> There's a tablespoon of baking. There's a tablespoon of baking powder. Put her away. <laughs> We're gonna need three tablespoons of sug. I, I get the, I'm never throwing this out now. I've gotten too big of a kick out of it. One, two, three. <laughs> Enough joy. What's Joy Division? That's a band, right? What kind of music do they make? Okay, half a teaspoon of salt kills ski will ski. Oh yeah, for this one, we're not using a um, stand mixer. We're just gonna mis whisk by hand. Now we need to get our two egg yolks, some vegetable oil, and some milk into a thing. I'm just gonna use this big four cup measure so that there's no trickiness. So again, we're using buttermilk because it's just yummier. Oh wow, I fucking crushed that. What a surprise. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need two egg yolks and then we separate the white. So we need to get this to two and a half cups with our oil. Cute. Ooh, it looks like an alien brain. Look at that, weird, creepy. We'll just use all of it, so probably a tablespoon then. Now our two eggy weggies. <gasps> I didn't separate it, that's okay. That's fine, because here's what we'll do. We're gonna separate it separately. No, okay, what am I doing? Okay, we're gonna, get, we're gonna get the white back out. Hold on. Wow, I am gross this episode. This is gonna have to be okay. <laughs> oh no. You go in there, my friend. Ugh, whatever. Okay, now we're gonna separate this one properly, like this. Look at that, was that so freaking hard, Irene? Oh my God, I put it in. Oh my God. <laughs> what is happening? Come here, egg white. There we go. You guys, I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> These aren't gonna whip up. I don't know why I thought I could save that because I can't. But there are two egg yolks where they're supposed to be, so that's good, I guess. I want you guys to know that that, what the f Luckily, I have a lot of egg whites. <laughs> wow, I'm still like truly <laughs> freaking out that that all happened. So just know that you can always fix something. The kitchen is a place for fun. I'm gonna whip these up to get to kind of like, just get some air in them. Cause this is going to also be a rising agent in our waffles. You can see they're already starting to get frothy. Even frothier. Okay, now that I'm sweating and we've got pretty much almost soft peaks, well, it's ribbony, that's fine. We're going to move this over. Oh, no, we're not, whoops. Yahoo. Now we need to whisk together our <laughs> cursed mixture so it's all incorporated. Gorge. Then we're going to add this to our dry ingredients. A lot of smoke, a lot more smoke than I would like. And just like with if you've ever made pancakes, like they'll say, you know, some lumps are okay. That's absolutely correct. You don't want too many, but some are fine. So this is the batter we're looking at right now. When it comes to folding in the egg yolks, I don't know if you guys have ever see seen Shit's Creek, but here's what folding in is. We're gonna take half of this egg yolk mixture at first because this we're just gonna incorporate to lighten up the batter. But to fold in, you just take from the bottom and put over the thing that you just added and then you slice it down the middle and keep doing that same thing. All those millions of little air bubbles that we just created in the egg whites, trying to keep those intact. It's like eight minutes of work. We don't want that to just go to waste. And so this has already lightened our thing up so much. Look at that. It's like so much gloopier, which we love. We're going to add our second half of those egg whites, folding it in, lifting from the bottom over the added egg whites. 
Oh, first spill of the day. Just kidding, I broke 18 eggs. So now we have this gorgeous, light, fluffy, soft waffle batter. We have our liege waffles, which we're going to finish up right now. And to finish those up, we just fold them in with the pearl sugar. We need a cup of pearl sugar. Oh, it's just so cool. Look how pretty that is. And then we just fold this bad boy in too. Look, a lot of folding today, which is good. We love to fold. Oh, I hope the mic is picking this up. It sounds like rain or something. Look at her. Oh. So I've always noticed that butter burns a little too easily when it comes to pancakes and waffles and stuff. So I like to just use oil as my nonstick agent and it usually works out totally fine and good and cute. Although the way today is going, uh, I'm not sure. If I just add a little bit in there, will that be okay? Uh -oh. oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, so don't me. Don't do that. What an episode. <laughs> okay, we're going to add our dough ball. Let's see. I'm not gonna look at this because it's gonna mess it up, but I want to. What a roller coaster this has been, right? I'm actually genuinely so curious about which is gonna be better. They're also just such different vibes. Like this is gonna be like much heartier and this should be like a lot airier. Do you know what I mean? Oh, she's looking cute as flurg though. <gasps> I want to give it another second. Oh, I want it to be so crunchy. <laughs> this is your hydration reminder. Am I really gonna eat with this fork? Are you serious? Well, it's the only one that's clean, so. <gasps> Holy shit. Do you guys see this? Wow, 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 wow. Gotta give the other one just as much love. Don't you worry, my friends. Just for good measure. Also, why is it steaming that much? Okay, this is gonna finish cooking. I'm gonna move you over here for us to eat. Okay, I cannot get a shot that I like, so we're just gonna do it standing up uh, with my ridiculously sized fork. The reason I'm in a rush is because I want these to still each have the same chance of being good and warm. So the Belgian one, right off the bat, has a really nice exterior. And the pearl sugar in there makes it very fun to eat, honestly. <laughs> now let's try our American waffle. Mmm, mmm. It's much lighter. Let's add a little syrup to both of these. A little. The liege waffle with syrup. That is really good. It's very dense though. Not dense like in structure, but just dense in like, that's much heavier than the, than this bad boy. Here's what's up. The liege waffle is better if this is your whole breakfast. Like if you're like, I'm gonna do a little brunch, that's all you're eating, babe. But I do think it's tastier. I think there's more going on and I think it's more fun to eat. The American waffle is a lot lighter, a lot fluffier, more mild in flavor, and is like a really nice accompaniment to like eggs and bacon. So what we've learned today in our wonderful world of waffles, that'd be funny, www.www.com. You're not gonna be on my side then what are we doing here? Liege waffles are better for your whole waffling experience, whereas a little American waffle is great to have on the side of a little breakfast moment. So there you go. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite waffles are and what you want me to do a dead dad showdown of next. I had so much fun as always. Thank you guys for watching. I upload every Friday and Sunday. You can check out my Patreon right here and please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your bell notification, and maybe send this to somebody who you've had this argument with. I don't know if you have. I know that I've had it quite a few times. Okay, bye.